The hospital will be 66 years old tomorrow, uh, September 5th, 1949. Uh, they opened the doors of the very first hospital, uh -huh. actually located on Davis Street, where the library is now. Uh -huh. So definitely, and not this hospital, they opened this hospital in 1969, but they uh -huh. opened that hospital in 1949. So we've been in the community for 66 years long time. So just two locations. Just two locations. Yes sir in all those years. They were at the library and then bought the land north of town. Quite a bit of land out here. I'm I'm not going to tell you how much land because I don't know and that would just be making something up but there's quite a bit of land and quite a bit of doctor's offices uh -huh. out here north of town and so they built the hospital in 1949 and we've had lots of expansions mm -hmm. and lots of things that have changed over those 66 years but we're still here providing care to our community. What must it have been like in 1949 when um, you know they, they finally got everything together mm -hmm. and they did all the paperwork yeah. that was required yeah. Yeah. and all that? Yeah, can you imagine the celebration I know that they had? You know, all the physicians in town at the time, when we did the 60th anniversary, we interviewed Dr. Joe Longino, right. and he talked about the physicians in town, how they all closed their clinic or their hospitals because they had small hospitals and they put all their patients in the new hospital and um, Dr. Longino uh, in his notes said that a hospital visit was six dollars a day or a stay was six dollars a day and they charged the patients five dollars a day and they saw them two times um, two times a day and so yeah um, very excitement in the community uh, you know I know Tim Kelty he has some great stories because his dad was involved and Bill Bradford was involved and there were lots of different men in Sulphur Springs that really worked hard for that to happen yeah. We we owe a lot to them. They're not here for us to thank necessarily, but we owe a lot to them for what they've done. Was it set up with a hospital district from the very beginning? No, not in the very beginning. Um, and I would be amiss if I tried to tell you when it became a hospital district. But originally it was not a hospital district. There was some time there where before they did all the required paperwork for it to become a hospital district. And that's um, set up by legislation, and so uh -huh. you know we're in contro we're controlled by some enabling leg legislation, and then we have a board that's elected at large in the community, seven board members. So they didn't initially set it up as a hospital district, but then they eventually did did make that change to a hospital district. So. Uh -huh. Was it ever affiliated with Hopkins County? Was it ever a county hospital? No, no, sir. It was not. It was That's not. a big misconception yeah, now. It I is. guess just the naming. I guess of the, the naming. I guess the naming. Since we weren't there when they decided to name it, it was um, the only hospital in Hopkins County, and so the name they chose was Hopkins County Memorial Hospital. Right. But to my knowledge, it's not ever been owned by the the county or anything of that nature. I know the um, the ambulance EMS at one point was actually uh, run by the county and then eventually right. the hospital took that over I do know that but I'm not aware that the hospital was um, ever owned by the, the county but it is confusing with that yeah. name in there so I get the feeling you work in marketing and I get the feeling you kind of market it more as Memorial Hospital or we, try to just because of the confusion of sure, saying Hopkins sure, County it sounds sure, like the sure. county hospital. We have over time uh, it's shortened just a little bit you know its official name is Hopkins County Hospital District doing business as Hopkins County Memorial Hospital but we have shortened, shortened the name for marketing makes it a little bit easier to say when you're doing radio ads especially and you only have 30 seconds to talk <laughs> and you're trying to get as much in there as you can it helps to just say Memorial Hospital so we've we've geared that direction to say Memorial Hospital and then when we added the clinic it just made sense to have Memorial Hospital and Memorial Clinic rather than trying to have Hopkins County Memorial Clinic Hopkins County Memorial Hospital that's still the formal name and in any documents that will be the name that's actually there and mm -hmm. we're still the same after 66 years we've just offer a lot more services to the community than they started with 66 years ago so yeah, I imagine those uh, ones that set it up in 49 if they could kind of get a peek right. and see the variety of services sure. the clinics and the you know the outreach right. and everything mm -hmm. Uh, of the the footprint right. and everything, uh, partnering and yes. all that, yeah, that, all the that things. would just blow their mind. Yeah, it would. It, you know, all the things that have that have come from just those 
men, as Bill Bradford used to say, just kind of sitting around drinking coffee and trying to make this happen, you know, uh, and as you said earlier, he never wanted to take credit for that, but he was just as involved in, as, as some of the other gentlemen that were. And so, you know, they they had a vision. I don't know that their vision was all of this, but, you know, it, we've been blessed. I, I think as a community, and I've lived here now um, almost 21 years, so I, I'm not born and raised here, but I've been here long enough that I, um, I feel much a part of the community. Community. And, you know, we're very blessed to have a health care organization that does offer the things that we are able to provide to the community. And so, you know, it is nice to know that when you go to the hospital, you may see those familiar faces of people that you go to church with or people that you go to the Wildcat football game with or that you go to any any sporting event in the community, any of the activities that happen. It's just nice to know that you've got those people taking care of you and watching out for you. So it, it is a neat, neat for the community to have that. You know, we have an excellent board and administration that is very supportive of the staff and the things that that need to be done to provide for care you know the government's always thinking of more things we need to do so that adds those challenges that are there but um, they do provide the resources for us and they do provide the the education and the things that our staff needs to try to do the best job that they can to take care of take care of patients and so we we're we, we're excited that we're here to be here for the community and um, you know while there are future things coming, then we're just going to keep on keeping on and keep on taking care of patients and doing the right thing because that's what um, that's what the mission statement's about is for us to do to continue to do that.